Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate effect size with Cohen's D in R. So when we want to compare uh, two samples in order to uh, make a decision about whether there's a difference or not in a population or between two populations, uh, we will run tests like an independent samples t-test and if we find a significant difference, uh, we also might not, at many times like to know, well, how big is that difference? So let's go ahead and conduct an experiment before we talk about um, calculating Cohen's D. I'm going to read in some body temperature data, temperature of 62 males and 62 females. And uh, I've stored this in a data file called 105. It's a CSV file. And don't forget that this file, along with all other data files and R scripts used in this series of videos, are available on my GitHub. And you'll find a link to that in the information section beneath this video on the YouTube page. So let me read this file in into a vector called body temp and then display the contents of that file. So I'm going to run the read first and then print out of the results. And we can see we've got 62 values here. The figures are in degrees centigrade and we have one column for men and one column for women. So I want to be able to uh, compare uh, the body temperature of men and women to see if there's a difference between them. So first of all, I'm going to visualize and I've got code already written here. So the first way to do this, or the simplest way to do this, is to use the hist function. So I'm going to plot a histogram of the body temperature men data, and then I'm going to plot a histogram of the body temperature women data, but I'm going to use the parameter add equals true to put the second parameter on top of the first one. Okay, so let me run the first one first. Uh, so lines 10 and 11, and we get a nice histogram over here on the right-hand side. We can see it's got a nice bell shape to it, and this is the body temperature of males. Now let me plot, the, and I'm going to use the parameter uh, color, call equals red to put the um, women's data on top of this uh, using the color red. So let me run this. And you can see here that the, um, if I zoom in on this, we can see here that uh, there are more men with lower temperatures than women with lower temperatures. And there's a lot of overlap between men and women here. So we'd like to determine, well, is there a significant difference between the body temperatures of males and females? So our null hypothesis is that there's no difference between the body temperature of male and females, and our alternative is that we will find a difference. And let's conduct this uh, experiment at an alpha value of 0 0.05. So I'm going to perform using the t.test function. I'm going to perform an independent samples t-test, that is an unpaired sample with equal variance, to compare the body temperature of men with the body temperature of women. So the t.test function will allow us to do that. So let me run this. And we get quite a bit of output here on the lower side. So we get the result of our t-test. Let me display how we report that. So the result here is we got a t-statistic of minus 2.4331. We have 122 degrees of freedom. And our p-value, which is our important statistic here, is a 0 0.016. So that value is less than our alpha value that we have set of 0 0.05. Therefore, we have found a significant difference between the mean temperature of men and the mean temperature of women. So this is a very binary decision. We have found a difference, but we don't know whether that's a small, medium, or large difference. We can deduct from our histogram on the right-hand side here that the difference mightn't be that big, but nevertheless, our t-test has found a difference uh, at the alpha value that we have set. So we report that then in my, uh, as usual here, my T statistic for 122 degrees of freedom is equal to minus 2.433 and our P value is equal to 0 0.016. Uh, we reject our null hypothesis. We have found a difference between the mean body temperatures of men and the mean body temperatures of women. Now effect size will now tell us how big that difference is. And to do this, I'm going to use a function called the Cohen.d function. Now uh, you will need uh, to install a library or to install a package called FFFSIZ. -E so this is not normal uh, available in R, so you will need to, if you haven't done so already, uh, click on the Packages uh, tab uh, and click on the Install button and install the EFFFX size. Uh, sorry, it's EFFSIZ is what we need. Z -E. So that one there, so install that and um, we'll be ready to go with it. So I've installed it already, so I'm just going to cancel that and use the library function then to load the package into R. So I'm going to run that. And now I'm ready to use the Cohen's D function. So this is called Cohen, D, open and close brackets. Now, if you haven't used this function before, 
do check out the health tab, type in Cohen's D, and you'll find plenty of information about uh, the Cohen's D and another test called Hedges D effect size, but we're using Cohen's D here. So we get lots of information and arguments and um, examples and so on using this function. So let's um, then put in the parameters into this, and it's very simple. We just put in the two parameters or the two variables. So body temp, dollar sign, and put in the men, and then a comma and body temp, dollar sign, women. So just doing this for to calculate the effect size between these two variables. So when I run this, we get an output for Cohen's D. So the D estimate, it's an estimate that is given here, uh, is uh, that code, the Cohen's D statistic is minus 0 0.0, minus 0 0.437. Now we ignore the minus sign, so we just take the absolute value here. So our D statistic that we would report here is 0 0.437 rounded. Now we can see that um, R has added in uh, the word small in the output, and this is detected using Cohen's, Jacob Cohen's original data. So I'm going to select the paragraph here on the right-hand side in the help screen. So this is part of the Cohen's D help details. Uh, we can see that the magnitude is assessed using the thresholds provided by Cohen in 1992. So a D statistic of less than 0 0.2 is a negligible difference. A D statistic of less than 0 0.5 is a small difference. Less than 0 0.8 is a medium difference. Otherwise, it's considered to be a large difference. So we have a value of 0 0.4. So that's uh, just underneath the 0 0.5 threshold. So that's why it's reporting that there is a small difference. So even though we have found a difference between the mean body temperatures of men and the mean body temperatures of women, so we have found a significant difference, uh, we can then report in the effect size that this difference is in fact a small difference. So that's how you calculate Cohen's D in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.